Hi everybody, this is John Lords from DiscoverSkills.com and today I'd like to talk about creating a shortcut in Windows 7. A shortcut is simply an icon on the Windows 7 desktop that lets you more quickly get to your most commonly used programs. You know, normally when you want to start a program, if you don't have an icon out here on the desktop, you of course go to the Start menu and then you go to All Programs and then you start working through your different program folders looking for that icon. and you know, since that takes multiple steps, um, and if this is a program you use quite a bit, it would be a lot nicer if you could just directly go to it on the desktop. So, let's talk about how you do that. Now, there's there's actually uh, a couple different ways you can do it. I'm just going to show you one today. Uh, this is the one that we actually teach in our computer classes. Um, the first step is to go to the Start menu that we were just in. And basically the start menu is always going to show you icons for programs. Um, the first part of the start menu, of course, shows you the most commonly used programs that you've been using recently. Um, and then to get to the rest of your program icons, you have to go into the All Programs uh, button down here. Of course, you can also search for a program, and this is something really slick in Windows 7. You can also search for a program in the search box here. Uh, so, for example, if I was looking for Microsoft Excel, I could just start typing in the word Excel, and there we go. Microsoft Excel comes up. Okay. So the point is, is that you first need to get to the icon for the program you want to make uh, an icon for on the desktop, and whether you do that through searching or whether you do that simply through the start menu here or by going to all programs it doesn't matter as long as you can see the icon that's what counts now just for our example today I'm going to go the longhand way into the icons I'm going to come down here to all programs and I'm going to slide down and let's say that we want to make um, uh, an icon for solitaire so I'm going to come down to games the games program folder and click and now I can see what's in that games folder and let's see where is solitaire there it is right there okay so step one is we find our icon step number two I'm gonna point at that icon and right click okay so I've clicked my right mouse button now in the menu that appears alright you're gonna notice that there is a send to option and when I mouse over that option it gives me a sub menu and you'll notice on the sub menu it says desktop. So what I've done is I've right clicked on the icon that I want to make an icon in the desktop for. I've chosen send to and then I've come over and I'm going to click on desktop and in parentheses it says create shortcut. So let's do that. And now that I'm done the menu is still open but if I just move my mouse away and click I can go back to my desktop and there we go. There is my solitaire icon right there on the desktop. And so you can do this for as many programs as you want. Uh, my desktop is pretty clean today. Normally it's full of all kinds of different things, but since I'm recording this for you, <laughs> I've kind of taken them off there. Um, also new too, as long as we're looking at these shortcuts, I want you to notice that um, Solitaire here is a true shortcut, and you can always tell a shortcut by that blue arrow uh, that's on top of it. Okay, and that's a true shortcut, which also means that if I decide I want to clean off my desktop, I can delete this. It doesn't remove the program from my computer. It doesn't hurt anything. It just simply removes this icon, which is just a little picture with an address behind it, from the Windows desktop. Compare that to the, to the computer icon here, which is actually a part of Windows, and there's no blue arrow. Okay. Uh, also here, the library icon there's no blue arrow and so it's actually part of Windows so the point is desktop shortcuts have this blue arrow and again what it means is is that if you get a messy desktop by putting lots of icons and you change your mind you can always delete them speaking of deleting them to get rid of an icon that you've created out here on the desktop you can simply drag it over to the trash and drop it okay or you can simply click on it to select it and then press the delete key on your keyboard and a message will come up and says are you sure you want to move this to the recycle bin you say yes and it's gone so just to summarize again to make a desktop shortcut you go to your start menu you find the icon that you want to make the program the the shortcut program icon for okay and again I'll go down to games here okay you find the icon and right click on it. 
you choose send to desktop create shortcut then back on your desktop you have your icon and that's pretty much all there is to it now if you've got any questions about this tutorial today be sure to let us know uh, you can visit the www.discoverskills.com website or of course you can always drop me a note at my email address it's jlortz at discoverskills.com thanks for watching today and I'll see you in the next video